If you've ever wanted to become rich in GTA 5 Online, then stay tuned because I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get up to 30 million dollars every hour with this glitch. But first, if you don't want to spend hours grinding heists and glitches, then check out Zerdiax.net. Zerdiax offers fast delivery modded accounts and account boosting for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Ranging from 10 million to 750 million dollars, as well as RP level 120 and more. With great prices and highly rated reviews, you can't go wrong with Zerdiax. Treat yourself today with a GTA modded service from Zerdiax. The link will be down in the description below. Alright guys, so to go ahead and start this glitch, y'all need to make your way to the arena workshop. And in your arena workshop, you will need one free car for each dupe that you want to make, and a car that you want to duplicate. Once you are done with that, you and your friend need to make your way to the Diamond Casino parking lot. And the person that is duplicating the car needs to call in any vehicle. Now open up your interaction menu, go to vehicle settings, and scroll down to vehicle access. And make sure that it's on a setting where your friend can enter the vehicle. So I just have my vehicle access on friends, or you can just enable it towards just passengers. But anyways, your friend does need to hop inside of your car, and then you're going to go up to the casino parking garage here, and then you're going to just click parking garage. Once inside, your friend is going to go back inside the vehicle and you are going to exit the parking lot. Now make your way to your nightclub without using any personal vehicles. I'll be using a CEO helicopter. Now make your way to the back of the nightclub where this garage door is, but prior to entering it, open up your interaction menu, go to map with options, jobs, all jobs, and put this on show. Open up your map and make sure that there's blue job blips all around the map. That's perfect. Now you can go up to this garage door and we're going to select the nightclub basement level 1. In this garage, you should see a speedo. Hop inside of the speedo and press right on the d-pad to access the vehicle workshop. Nothing should happen. Now press your pause menu button, full screen the map like this, and then exit the map, and then leave the car. You know that you've done it correctly whenever you go up to the garage door to leave, and no menu pops up. Now open up your pause menu and full screen the map, and now we're going to find the job that's closest to the arena workshop. Just select any one of these blue jobs that are close to the arena workshop, and click square to start them, and then just start the job. Now we're going to join a player in a different targeting mode. If you're on PlayStation, then I'll leave some people that are in a different targeting mode in the description. It's a bot account that you can join. On Xbox, you're just going to have to find a friend that you have that's in a different targeting mode. So we're going to join that person, you're going to get this alert to pop up. Accept the first alert, you're going to get a second alert, decline the second alert. Now you should spawn in where the job lip is. Now just make your way to the arena workshop without using any personal vehicles. Now go up to any one of these garage doors and select the level that has the car that you want to duplicate in it. Hop in the car that you want to duplicate and press right on the d-pad to put it in the workshop. Change one thing about the vehicle and then back all the way out and click exit the arena. Once you spawn outside you can call your mechanic. We're just going to call in one of the free cars that we have stored in our arena workshop. Once you click that car, nothing should happen. No car should spawn and you should still be in a car they want to duplicate. Now open up your interaction menu, services, MOC, and we're just going to request an MOC. If the option to request an MOC is grayed out, then just quit being a CEO or MC president and then it should let you. Now simply go up to the back of the MOC and press right on the D-pad. If you have a vehicle back there, then accept the alert. Now you've successfully duplicated this car, the duplicate is right in front of you and the original is back at the arena workshop. Now you can just repeat this glitch over and over again rapidly. To exit the MOC you need a job teleport like you did earlier and then you can just keep on repeating this over and over again and get full garages. Well, today I have an amazing solo money glitch for you guys. You're going to be able to get 10 million dollars quite literally every two minutes and I'm going to show you guys how. So to begin this glitch does require save wizard. If you don't have save wizard I'll leave the link in the description. It does cost 60 dollars. You do need a PC and a USB, however, if you don't have any of that, then I will give you a save wizard save for $35. I'll give you the modded save that you need to do this glitch. So hit me up on Discord, I'll leave all the contact information in the description, and you can buy one off me. If you haven't already spawned in the modded save, then go into game, load game, and load the modded save. Once you've loaded that modded save, we can make our way into an invite only session. Alright, now for this next step, I need you all to pay very close attention so you don't lose your money. We're going to open up our internet and we're going to go to Warstock Cash and Carry. The most expensive car that you can buy is the Deluxo. It also sells for the most, so you're going to want to buy that. But first, we need to buy a free vehicle, so we're going to sort by price. 
and we're gonna buy this free vehicle right here and now as soon as you buy this free vehicle we're gonna go to the deluxos and we're gonna purchase six so as soon as you buy this free vehicle you have 20 seconds to buy as many cars as you can before you have to go back into story mode and repeat the glitch 20 seconds is enough to buy about six cars so here we go I'm gonna click buy it now I'm gonna store it in a garage and now the timer has started quickly sort by price and buy six deluxos whenever you bought the six deluxos we're gonna stay on this sold screen I'm gonna show you the sold screen here in a second we're gonna stay here and now we're gonna disconnect our internet right now you should get kicked into story mode now go back into an invite only session now check to make sure that you have the same amount of money that you had whenever you started so I started off with 330 million and I still have 330 million and if I call my mechanic you will see that all the deluxes that I bought earlier stick so I believe it was this garage that I stored them in and as you guys can see I have a bunch of deluxes I've done this glitch many times I have a bunch of deluxes this is not fake in order to save the cars that you bought, you need to go to the garage where you put the cars in, go to the vehicle management menu, and just swap all the cars positions once, and then save an outfit, and then they will now save. And to repeat this glitch, all you have to do is just buy another free car, and then buy six more deluxes, and then go back into story mode. You can do this glitch like quite literally every two minutes, and get $10 million with the deluxes, maybe even more. If you have any questions, check the description of this video, I'll have some help down there. But that is all for me. Thank you for new gift cards to friends glitch in GTA 5 online. Let's begin. First, your friend needs to enter the t their terabyte level of their nightclub, and then they need to send you an invite. Now you and your friend need to go close to the terabyte, and the owner of the terabyte needs to go up in the circle right here. And they're going to get a menu to pop up on screen, either enter alone or enter with nearby crew. Your friend needs to click enter with nearby crew, and then it's going to kick you inside the terabyte. Now your friend's going to go up to the door like this, and then they're going to get a menu to pop up and your friend needs to hover over all exit nerve and what you need to do is full screen your map teleport to the outside view and select any blue job on the map so now we're going to select any job press square to get this alert to pop up on screen and while your friend is hovering over that exit menu you're going to start the job and they're going to click exit the nerve center at the same time so i'm just going to spam x at the same time now wait here for about 3 seconds and then exit the job. And if done correctly then you'll see that your map is completely glitched out. As you can see it's empty with only blips on my map. Now call in an uninsured street vehicle from your facility and just throw 2 sticky bombs on it. Make sure that your facility is full by the way. If it's not full right now then you can just request a bunch of random free cars. And now make your way to the facility without using any personal vehicles. Now you need to find and bring a street vehicle to your facility. Open up the interaction menu whenever you get here so that we can get rid of the yellow circle at the facility. And now we're just going to park our car right where that yellow circle was. And try to park it how I do, because your friend needs to flip your car upside down, and it's easier if you do it like this. But now we're just going to back out of the interaction menu, and then you're going to get this facility full alert. Now your friend needs to flip your car over. The easiest way for them to do this is to just get a phantom wedge and flip it upside down. So I'll be back with you guys whenever it's flipped. So once our street car is flipped over, we're going to accept this alert. Nothing should happen, now leave the vehicle. And once you've left the streetcar, press left on the d-pad so you can blow up the C4 from earlier. Now your friend is going to return the phantom wedge and call in the car that he wants to give to you. And then they're going to put it inside of that yellow circle. Now we're just going to simply go in the driver's side of that vehicle. And that should let you just go through. Now that we're on a menu that looks like this, we're going to back out once. And then we're going to accept.